In today's video, I jump a wall a lot. My camera falls off the car, and Chloe photobombs the shoot. Hey everybody, welcome to the channel today. Uh, quick video, I got some goodies for the trailer. This is not really cross trek specific, but uh, I thought I'd just share uh, the stuff that I got for it. Basically spare tire, a little jack for the front, um, things like that. Um, and thanks to everybody who's made suggestions for things to get to the trailer to make it uh, safer and, and easier to use. Uh, again, I ordered from eTrailer.com, not affiliated. Uh, I've just ordered from them before and they're uh, customer service and their shipping and everything is awesome. I think shipping is actually free most of the time, but uh, it's really quick and the prices are very reasonable. So that's where I got my Kurt Hitch if you haven't watched that video yet. So let's open it up and see what we got here. Enough packing material to kill a small child. So this is a little, uh, just a spare tire carrier clicks onto the uh, frame of the trailer. The little foot for the uh, jack for the front. I didn't get a wheel, um, just based on recommendations from buddies on the department. Um, I know some people like the wheel, just to help you roll it around, but. And then this guy is just the little trailer jack that uh, screws into the front of the trailer. One of the things that I haven't gotten yet that I can't remember who it was um, suggested it. There, I've actually had a few suggestions on reducing the noise for the um, the rattling of the trailer. It looks really cool. I've never uh, seen it before. Basically, it looks like it hooks underneath the where everything connects and kind of stops the rattling. So um, it is obnoxious with this little trailer because it's so light. I think putting this tire and this jack on the tongue, we'll add, the, add uh, some weight up there so it'll kind of reduce that a little bit, but um, I'm gonna try that other item that, I was, that was suggested to me. So in the last thing in the lovely box here, just this gorgeous spare tire. <laughs> it's so tiny, looks like it's for a wheelbarrow almost. But uh, anyway, might as well go uh, install these guys and see how they look. Stick around if you wanna check that out. Um, maybe I'll have some interesting drone footage at the end of the video. Thanks guys. Yeah, so we're going to start with this uh, Pro Series trailer jack. I don't know anything about it. It was just on e-trailer and I needed one. So um, we're going to install it and see how we do here. Hopefully it comes with all the hardware. So let's see what we have here. We have the jack portion, which is good. This looks like a crank handle. Well, that's special, no nuts or bolts. So we're not gonna start with the jack because I need to get some bolts for it. I was thinking that they came with it, but I was wrong. So let's see if we can install the spare tire holder. Don't hold your breath though, because this might not happen either. It's been one of those weeks, let me tell you, I've been working on uh, <clears throat> some woodworking stuff and it's been, <laughs> it's been interesting. We have bolts, that's good. That's a start. And we have instructions, also good. Just kind of going into Reddington here a little bit. I was just going to go out here and do a little drone footage. Um, I got all the accessories finally installed on the trailer today. All right, so here's the spare tire that I added. This rack itself is kind of a universal rack. And then this is just the little jack I got. Um, and I, I think I said in the other video, I opted for the foot versus the wheel. 
The other thing I added was a suggestion from somebody is just a cotter pin for, um, for this guy so it doesn't open up when you're riding down the road. And I was gonna film installing all that stuff, but it was just, it's like two days later, I had to work yesterday. I didn't, the stuff didn't come with the hardware you needed. So I, it wasn't, it was boring. It was quick and easy. But I want to give a shout out um, and say thanks to Tony who was visiting Arizona from Vermont. He's a subscriber here on the channel. And uh, he came by the fire station yesterday so it was awesome meeting him. He's a fellow firefighter back in Vermont. So have a safe trip home, Tony. Thanks for uh, coming out and visiting. But uh, we're heading back in here in Reddington. And this is the road. It's a trip that I did. There's a video on it where I went way around. It was, ended up being over 100 miles. And I, when I damaged my tire and my rim early on when I got the car, way the heck on the other side of the mountains. But we're not going over there today. We're just going to go back here a little ways. And... Uh, take a look around, see if we can get some interesting drone footage.